Okay. I have everything. I need to cross to Patricia somehow. <laughs> I hope she is not dead or something. Okay. The icon is still there. <laughs> At this point I can expect everything. Ow! My head. You just won the scavenger hunt. Congratulations, tourist. Dreams really do come true. Did you put out the flyers? I did. They've been getting people pretty fired up. If your friends make this happen, if they strike the tower, we'll have their back. Cool. Thanks. I'll let them know. We got people, we got weapons. But if we're gonna fight the tower, we need more ammo. A lot more. Okay. So, another request? You can never have enough ammo. I get it. I'll make sure my friends know what you need. There's a kid, goes by Echo. Former reclaimed. You can trust them. If they come through here looking to trade, you get them what they need. Cool? Sure. No problem. Viva la revolution! Wait, but... Do you want your items? <laughs> What? I have. <laughs> this is such a weird mix of items. Those bolt cutters gift wrap for you over here on my right. Just one. It was a lot of trouble getting them, okay? <laughs> Tourist. Damn, it's good to see you. <laughs> we see each other very frequently. <laughs> Miss me, huh? Just glad you're still alive. Did you get the bolt cutters? Also, we've been to the tower area, like... You could have hit me, us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Short and precise. What? You want them, or... What's going on? Sorry, I can't listen right now. Hold up, we're not done yet. I can focus now. Sorry. Guess I'll finish now. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, buggy game. What about the flyers? What did, what did the exiles say? <laughs> I can't. Good news. I talked to Patricia. She was doubtful at first. But she started putting the flyers out and it got people talking. She says they're ready to take the fight to the tower. This is great news. Sounds like we got our army. Time to unleash it on Mama. Already? The exiles have a request. Ammo's in short supply. They got weapons, I guess. And people who know how to use them. But if you want them to fight with you, they're gonna need bullets. Serendipity, tourist. Enter the star of our show. Billy bolt cutters. We can start stealing what we need from the tower. Sneak it out to the exiles. Echo, you can help us with that. For sure. As long as they'll actually talk to me. They will. I told Patricia you were with us. That won't be a problem anymore. Thanks, tourist. We'll contact you when the time is right. Won't be long now. Mama's end is near. And I guess the end of the game? So now we just wait for Sonny, or them, like whatever. Like nowadays I just wander around doing nothing really, gathering resources. Something's up. Where is he? 
I'm coming for that ass, boy. I'm gonna be up front with you, right out the gate. I backed the wrong horse. I admit it. And I'm hoping we can put my fuck up in the past and work on setting things right for the future. Fine. You're a piece of dog shit, Sonny. You fuck me over. You have every right to be angry with me. But put yourself in my shoe. Garrick said he just wanted to talk to you, okay? So, I had to make a choice. I got my daughter to think about. Now, I don't like being on anyone's bad side, but I figured I'd avoid the bad side right there in front of me. At the time, it was the correct deal. Where is she anyways? Where's your daughter? I want her in on this conversation. We had a little spat and she locked herself up in the closet. But this right here is between you and me. Um... I don't believe you. She got herself involved when she told me the truth about your backstab. Yeah, guess I never should have taught her to be honest. I can hear you talking about me. Come on out and speak for yourself then. I got nothing to say to you. Leave me the fuck alone. She's a good kid, but she's impulsive and frankly fucking stupid sometimes. I raised that child from six months old, all on my own. It's been her and me against the world for 19 years. We've been tested, and I have plenty of regrets. Nothing bigger than the arm. Had to cut it off after she got herself bit. Can you imagine having to do that to your own kid? Her begging you not to, screaming and crying. But there ain't nothing I wouldn't do for her. Of course, every time I remind her of that, she rolls her eyes. Well, at least she's alive because I thought you killed her. <laughs> what happened to her mom? Her mom was a fool, and dangerous. Let's leave it at that. What do you know about Garrick? Garrick and I were friendly a while back. Told me all kind of messed up stories from his army days. Bomb disposal unit, hardcore stress. Can't imagine it. But then he disappeared for a stretch. I guess he spent some time out in the bayou. When he returned, he was fucked in the head. Dark. Claimed he put all that tower bullshit behind him. Was rolling solo because he couldn't trust no one anymore. When he started ranting about you, I lent an ear. He's got it in his head that you killed his wife and daughter. Now, I'm not gonna judge you for it. It's none of my business whether you did it or not. But Garrick thinks you did. And no offense, but from what I know about that dude, I'm surprised you've lasted this long. Well, it is true at the end of the day, so... Why should I let you live? Self-interest. We got this trade network. A mutually beneficial partnership. Now you can take me out, but my dead body is worth nothing to you. Alive, I could be the difference between you scrounging for crumbs and being the first one to eat. Mate, do you want this battery? Like you wanted it in the beginning of the game. <laughs> Your dead body is a guarantee if you lie to me again. Point taken. I know this probably doesn't mean much, but you have my word. I found a photo of you. Figured you might want it. A photo? What are you talking about? Put it in the drawer. Oh, yeah. Have this as well. Been a long time since I've seen this. Look at me. I'm a baby. You look stoned. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> Never a sober moment back then. Thanks for this, tourist. I don't get too many trips down memory lane these days. I always ask myself, did it ever even happen? But stuff like this reminds me that there was a life before hell opened the floor. Hold on, I got something for you. Huh? It's an old guitar signed by Slim Dog himself. 
Just gathering dust around here. But I figured you can give it a proper home. Will the two of you shut up, please? I'm trying to sleep. Stuff something in your ears, then. All right, let's get back on track here. I got some bad news. Father Carter's gone silent. Haven't heard from him in over a week. This could be catastrophic. Did you take the battery or what's going on? Uh oh. I hope it didn't bug out. That is bad news. When people drop off the radar, they usually don't return. Yeah, I know. I haven't slept in two days. We lose the Padre, everything we busted our ass to build is gonna crumple. The exiles really trust the guy. Get over to the French Quarter and see what the hell is going on with him. Stick to the daylight when you go looking, will you? For safety's sake. And when you find him, if he's still breathing, set him straight. Lay some of that tourist charm on him. Whatever works, but we need to keep him in the fold. <laughs> I am quite the charmer when I want to be. Make sure he understands his role in all this. That is not just about our takes, but helping the Don Trotten. Blah, blah, blah. Stuff he likes to hear. I'll see you when you get back with some good news. Where's the music, by the way? Like... Make it less creepy, okay? Hotel Eclair again. I, uh... Think it's gonna be a good idea to... Reload the save file. Just in case, like, after his conversation. Because I don't trust this bug or whatever is going on. 